Hi there, I'm Chris Jones. I work on the Windows Live team at Microsoft and I'm here to talk a little bit about cloud services and Windows 8 and the work that we've done over the last 18 months to really rethink Windows Live in the context of Windows 8 and the new opportunities that it allows. Let's start the demo on my Windows 8 PC where I've connected my Microsoft account and logged in. That means my Windows PC is automatically connected to the cloud and my account settings automatically roam with me. And that means that I can do things like, for example, roam my account settings across my different PCs. So in this case, syncing settings is on on this PC, which means I can personalize the background, the desktop, ease of access, and language preferences. That's all powered by the cloud services that come when I've connected my Windows PC to my Microsoft account. In addition to those services, I also get an address book, I get a calendar service, I get a place to store my important photos and documents called SkyDrive, and I also get a mailbox. So when I tap on mail, here's my Hotmail inbox, and you'll notice that I've got four messages here that I can navigate through and read. As I click through each one of those messages, you can actually see photos from a trip to Portugal that got shared with me, or a little bit of information about the new SkyDrive apps that we talked about earlier. Uh, or even a reminder for me that the demo is going to start uh, at 3 p.m. today. In addition to a mailbox, I've got Calendar. This is the Calendar app. And notice that I can see a nice week view, or I can also switch to a month view. In the past, we have called these apps Windows Live Essentials, and they really were designed sort of separately from the Windows experience. And now, with Windows 8, we've designed all these apps to really be in the Metro style and an integrated part of what we're doing on the desktop. If I want to keep track with the important people in my life, I can go to the People app, and I can right at a glance see everybody that I'm connected to, whether they're people I know on Messenger, people I know on Facebook or LinkedIn, or friends of mine that I'm following on Twitter. If I want to keep up with a particular person, I can click on that person. You can see right here I've got a contact card for them, as well as a What's New feed that shows what's happening. I can even browse through and navigate to their photos. And again, all of this is powered by my Microsoft account and the cloud services, which bring all this information right to me without me having to do anything new on this PC to set it up. Another thing that I might want to do on my Windows 8 PC is browse through photos that I've taken or albums that I've shared. In the Photos app, that's all available to me too. So right from my Photos app, I can look and see what's happening on my SkyDrive. I've got a collection of photo albums on my SkyDrive. And these are automatically synchronized to my PC. So if I want to look at pictures of the kids, I can just click and really nice and easily browse through those. Because we know that people use services from more than one company, you can also, just like I've seen my Facebook friends in my contact list, my Photos app lets me browse through those Facebook photos too, so I can see pictures of my travels right here from my Photos app on Windows. And of course, we've got a SkyDrive app that lets me actually look through the important documents that I've shared. So I can look at those Word or Excel presentations that I've done, or I can look at spreadsheets that I might be doing for fundraising or a school project. So that's a quick overview of the apps that come with Windows that are connected to our cloud services, powered by your Microsoft account. We'll see those same apps when I switch over to my Windows Phone. Okay, I've logged into my Windows Phone. Uh, this is running Windows Phone 7.5, and I've logged in with my Microsoft account. And you'll notice that I've got the same set of live tiles. I've got a tile for my mailbox, messaging, people, I've got a calendar tile, pictures, uh, and then a me tile that shows information about me. So just like I did on my PC, I can actually go ahead and click into mail, and you'll notice that the same four messages show up there that were in my mailbox. Those are all synced through the cloud service, and because I'm connected with my Microsoft account, I didn't have to tell my Windows Phone anything new. It just was able to connect to my mailbox and sync down my mail. I can also go back and look at my calendar again. You'll notice that same calendar appointment is there. And just like on my PC, I can switch ahead into month view and actually get a quick view of what's going on with the months. If I want to look at my photos, which is very popular to do on phones, I can actually look through all of the albums. And here you'll see again, I've got that set of pictures from my SkyDrive. 
so I can look and see into the different albums that are here. Here's an album that's a year in the life, and all those photos will just come streaming down from the cloud and from SkyDrive. Again, I didn't have to do anything new. My Windows phone is connected to my Microsoft account, and it just connects automatically to my SkyDrive and brings those photos back down to me. Of course, I can take a picture on my phone, and then it goes into my phone's camera roll, which is automatically uploaded to my SkyDrive so I can see it on my PC or back on the web. So that's a quick run through of logging into my phone with my Microsoft account and those same set of apps and tiles that you saw on the Windows 8 PC. Next, what we're gonna do is go to a web browser and show you how you can get to all those services right from the web. Now I'm in Internet Explorer and I've connected to my SkyDrive. And so right from here, you'll see I've got my list of files. Remember that on, on my PC, I showed you that list of documents. I can access that same list of documents right on the web. And in this case, I can actually go and click right into the presentation, just like I would have on my PC, and I can edit that presentation or view it using the power of the web apps. So right from a browser, it's easy for me to get to my mail, contacts, calendar, photos, documents, or anything else that's stored in our cloud services, and even do some basic editing and collaboration right there in the experience. Now you might be a developer and asking yourself if you can power your application with cloud services. Of course you can, and we have a nice API with, at our Live Connect Developer Center for you to use. Through our APIs, you can read and write from SkyDrive, you can access the inbox, contact list, and calendars. You can even start and end instant messaging conversations. And all of that is powered by a Microsoft account where you can let your customers log in to your experience using their Microsoft account and get access to all of these cloud services. So whether you're building an application for phones, for Windows 8 and the new Metro style apps, or whether you're building a web service, those are all available for you as a developer to use. So that's a quick run through of our cloud services reimagined for Windows 8. You saw me log into my Windows 8 PC using a Microsoft account and then do the same thing on my phone and write from the web. And you saw me to give a quick overview of our developer API. Now it's a great time for you to give it a try. Download the Windows 8 Consumer Preview, connect your Windows phone, or just get started with our cloud services right at live.com.